Tell me the messages for Taurus regarding your love for the month of December 2015. I'm just fixing them just so that you can um, be able to see what I'm seeing. So hopefully you guys can see everything. So guys, for the month of December, I feel like some of you Tauruses are going through some type of breakup. Breakup was because of, um, I feel like I see three people. So it could be that somebody was, you know, being dishonest with the other person with someone else. So I feel like the person that some of you Tauruses were dealing with, what the Tauruses that were in a relationship, you guys were dealing with somebody that was not honest with you. You know what I mean? And I feel like that person left you sorrow. I feel like you're you're hurting your sorrow. Um, another thing I want to mention is those of you who are who went through that breakup, I feel like you guys could have broken up this time, this this year, sometime in the summertime, um, June, July, August. I feel like that's the month that you guys were, you know, going through that breakup or you know that separation or that, that um heartache that you guys were going through i feel i feel like it was in the summertime that's what that's what i want to say i feel like it was in the summertime i feel like for those of you some of you just, i'm gonna say this i know some tourists you know personally and you guys have a beautiful heart so i feel like he some of you Tauruses that were in that relationship, I feel like you guys were very, you know, you would give here, there, here and there, you know, you would try to help that person you were with, you know, as much as you can, maybe financially, because I see like some of you guys giving that person money, you know, not a lot of money, but you know, if they would ask you for something, you'd give it to them at no hesitation. And I feel like you're, you were being too generous with that person. I kind of feel like that person took you for granted overall. I mean, I do want to end this here with good, <laughs> with good, um, you know, aspirations, good vibes and stuff like that. But I don't want to lie either. So I want to be completely honest with my audience, the people that do watch my videos and subscribe to me and whatnot. I feel like that heartache, it, it was, it hurt it. It was, a, it was a hard transition for you. And I feel like, you know, the person wasn't honest, wasn't honest with you. I feel like because of that that breakup, I kind of feel like I see you contemplating like laying in a bread. Maybe you have some type of anxiety. You know, you can't sleep well due to the breakup or something like that. Or you haven't slept well in months. But you have the victory. Though You have the chariot. So that's like a victory card, like a victory of success. You know, even though... If you're not already going, if you've already been through the breakup and you're just going through through the grieving process at the moment, I feel like you're going to overcome everything anyway. So don't feel like, you know, you're lost or you're not going to come out of it because you are going to come out of it and you're going to become, you're going to be on top. So I, I do want to stress that don't, you know, I, you know, this six, this is a six of swords. This is somebody coming out of a rough time. This is someone, you know, tra traveling through the rough time, going to clear waters. They they had a lot of problems. Maybe, you know, if you see these six swords, they're right in front of them. So I feel like, you know, you you. <laughs> it was a battle, but you're fighting through it, and you're gonna you're gonna persevere. That's the most important thing that this card, this message that this card can give you is you're going to persevere. You're going to persevere. You're going to move forward. So that you see the, the gray in the back, it might have been gray, might have had sorrow. You might have cried and might not have went the way you wanted it to go. But at the same time, you're still going to persevere. You're still going to move forward. You still have that bright blue. So, you know, you still have that thing to be successful. So don't be so, um, you know, breaking up with somebody is a grieving process. It's like a loss. Like you lose an actual individual. You guys break up. You go from seeing them every day to not seeing them at all. So I completely understand, you know, if you might leave that and contemplate and say, you know, maybe I if I would have done this right, 
it would have been a different outcome. If I would have done this right, it would have been another outcome. But that's not the case at all. So don't ever feel, you know, like it's your fault because, you know, sometimes people don't appreciate the things that they have. Just, you know, just want to say that to the Tauruses. Um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, since it is December, it is December, so it's all about the holidays and spending time with your family. I feel like that breakup that you went through is an opportunity for you to get closer to your family. So you're not alone. I feel like, you know, for those of you who went through that breakup or that separation, you know, because that's a separate, the three of swords is a separation and breakup. Um, you're not alone. You have people there to help you. You have people there to assist you. I feel like you have friends and family that will come in there to tell you, hey, you know what? You're not alone. I'm here for you. You know, if you if you you need help financially, mentally, emotionally, you know, that you have people, you have a support system. People are there. So don't feel like you're alone because I feel like some of you guys might lay in the bed and feel like, man, you know, you contemplate the decision. You contemplate the, 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 the reason why it ended. You contemplate everything. There's no reason to contemplate it. Move forward and know that you're going to be okay. You're not going to. I don't see, you know, anything. I do want to tell you this. Um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, since you're going through that separation and you're going through, you're going through the grieving process, I kind of feel like you feel like you're buying to that person, like you're stuck. The devil is not always, you know, it always, not always a bad card. Um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, it's if you look at the car closely, it's two people chained together. They're chained together, but the chain is not, com the, the chain is not sealed. So you have the ability to move away. You have the ability to move, like, break away, you know. So you're not completely bind to that person. But at the same time, I feel like, um, the Tauruses that are going through that breakup, separation, some of you guys can be honest to a certain degree, but then we have the other ones that are not honest, you know, that like everything they see, that they have bad habits, you know, they like to dream, they're addicted to, they have some type of addictions as far as like sex goes, um, they drink a lot, some type of addiction they have. So not everybody's perfect, so you have to know that, but I feel like, you know, for you to, for some of you Tauruses, just because you, you're going through some type of grieving, make sure you don't result into having sex without love or, um, this, this loss that you have, it shouldn't create, um, bad habits. Cause I feel like, you know, you, you're hurting, so you're gonna, you're gonna try to, you're gonna start developing some type of habits like going out a lot, drinking a lot. It could be a drug addiction. It could be, um, having sex without love or, you know, just being with multiple people, you know, kind of playing Russian roulette. You really don't care at the moment because you, you don't have anything going for you anyway. So that's something that I feel like you, you could be doing or you could do, you know, if you're not already doing it, I kind of feel like you, you could be doing it. Um, you know, um, I do want to tell you guys this. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on improving yourself. Focus on, you know, being a little bit more spiritual. If you do turn to addictions or you do have some type of addictions at the moment, you know, uh, we are all God's child. So, therefore, um, don't ever be afraid to ask for, for help. So, if you feel like, you know, this is something that signifies you or that pertains to you, you know, ask for help. I feel like a lot of you guys might, you know, develop some type of addictions. So ask for help. I know that you're going through a rough time, you know, or you, if you're not already going through it, you will be going through it. I know that you feel, you know, what it's not a good way to end the year. But at the same time, remember, when the clock strikes 12, it's officially the new year. So this is a you, a new year, a new you, and a new opportunity to start afresh. So don't always forget that. Now, for my Tauruses that are, in, you know, single, I see you guys spending a lot of time with your family. Um, don't go out too much. Like I just said, I feel like some of you guys, 
I mean, as far as something serious, I don't say anything serious. I feel like you guys like to go out, like to have fun, like to enjoy yourself. And as far as like attachment and getting married and, you know, being with somebody, it's, it's, I don't see it there. I feel like, you know, if anything, you guys want to go out, have a good time. And I don't feel like attachment is something that some of you guys are looking for. For those of you who are coming out of a relationship, don't let the past determine your future. That's something that I always like to say. Like, that's just, you know, it's absurd to carry burdens from someone. You can't let somebody from the past ruin somebody else's, you know, future with you or the opportunity to be with you because it's, it's crazy. It's just crazy for that. I know you might be hurting and whatnot, but you know, that's not worth it. Another message I want to tell you guys, don't be too generous because I feel like some of you Tauruses, when you're feeling good involved, you're too generous. Very generous. You can get it confused, you know. You can get a person used to you giving them things or buying them things. And that's not a habit that you want the person to pick up because then they're always going to depend on you. And that is not attractive. For some of you Tauruses, I feel like some of you guys might be moving away or moving, going to a different um, city to live or you guys might even be traveling for this month so I feel like some of you guys are traveling maybe you guys might even travel with money or somebody might give you money maybe the person place where you go they might give you some type of money or something but I feel like you're not alone you know even through this hardship even through the separation even through the breakup you're not alone you have people there you have family you have friends that care about you so don't ever feel like you're alone and always know that you have the success to move forward so whatever you're going through at then or now it's a new year, January 1st, so let's ring it in with a new year and make sure that we have no regrets because we only live once.